Grammar is always a problem for me, be it IELTS writing, IELTS speaking. I always get confused. I don't have the right direction as to what mistakes I'm making. Nakul, if you have any video on that, could you please throw some light and trust me, if you're wondering, then trust me, today's video will help you understand the five top five premium grammatical errors in your IELTS writing and IELTS speaking. One must or you must immediately avoid. Make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills IELTS. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with it, another video. Today's video is all about top five premium grammatical errors that perhaps you're doing in your IELTS writing or IELTS speaking and you must immediately avoid them. Before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button at any point of time you need online assistance. You can WhatsApp us to the number given there. We will be there. I'll be there to guide you, help you in the right direction. All right. So without wasting any time, let's get right into the video. Let me just share my screen. Five grammar mistakes. Avoid immediately, man. Be it IELTS writing or IELTS speaking. The very first mistake is there's a lot of students with my experience of seeing over uh, 5,000 to 8,000 students in the last four years. Many have this problem called run on sentences. Be cautious of it. Now, what is this run on? Which occur when two independent clauses are joined with just a punctuation and not a connector. I like dancing. Um, for example, uh, something like this. I like dancing or I like to read books. I also enjoy movies. This is with respect to your writing where um, after the first independent clause, I like to read books. Hey, put a full stop, man. Some people don't put a full stop. Don't even put a comma and just continue. That's a wrong grammar. This is called run on sentence. You're just running <laughs> on and on and on. So this should be a full stop or a comma and I like to read books. I also enjoy movies. There are two different things. Two independent clauses should always be connected with either a full stop or a connector called fanboys for and nor but or et so. Any one of them you need to use. It's important to separate the clauses correctly. Many end up making mistakes when they, whenever they write, for example, or whenever they write in their essays. So this should be corrected too. I like to read books and I also enjoy watching movies. The two different things you need to either add a connector, comma connector or put a full stop after an independent clause. Simple thing but many have done it whenever we review the essay feedback for the registered students. I come across this on an everyday basis and we correct them. If you are making this mistake, it's time you avoid them. Second one, sentence fragments. What is that fragment? Is that division of things, small, small things. So make sure that every sentence contains a subject and a verb and encompasses a complete thought. There should be a subject, there should be a verb, there should be an object. I like to eat ice cream. Like to eat ice cream is a sentence fragment. Avoid sentence fragments which are incomplete and lacking a main clause. For example, people write in their essay, they wrote a main idea, supporting idea. For instance, walking in the park, walk in the park. No, this is fragment. This is a small fragment. It cannot have existence on its own unless this is accompanied by a noun. I am and a verb, auxiliary verb. I am walking in the park or people are walking in the park. I was walking in the park. Some, some noun and verb has to come. Don't write a small fragment just like that, which doesn't have any uh, existence in <laughs> you know, the English literature. Don't make this mistake. I'm pretty much sure many could relate to these mistakes. Uh, avoid them just writing some incomplete phrases or sentence fragments. You need to have noun, I, people, uh, cars, some public, some noun and then verb and then the fragment will come. Hope you're getting it. If you're making this mistake, it's time you fix them. Third one, word order. There is an order in which you need to write, especially when you have this adjectives and adverbs. So what exactly I mean uh, by this? Listen, just, just watch this rather. She has beautiful and long brown hair. She is beautiful and long brown hair. Beautiful and long brown hair is not fitting in. Rather, she has a long, beautiful brown hair. Hope you are getting it. You don't say beautiful and then long brown. Brown is a color. It goes with beautiful. So beautiful brown hair is correct and it's not uh, beautiful and long brown hair. Beautiful and long and then brown is not fitting in. There should be an order in which you first talk about, uh, let's say the beautifying things, beautiful and brown, long hair. So this long hair is actually the one that goes with it and beautiful and brown are 
modifiers which should go together. Hope you are getting it. She has long, beautiful brown hair. Not she has beautiful and long brown hair. <laughs> Hope you are getting it. So this word has actually removed the relevance it had with the word hair. Hope you are getting it. So right in the order in which that matters, right in the order that it needs uh, a particular order. Hope you are getting what exactly I am talking about. So it's beautiful and long brown hair is wrong. It's rather long, uh, beautiful brown hair or long brown beautiful hair okay all right so we go to the fourth one after this word order maintain the order basically you need feedback it's right now it's a theory class when you write while you implement uh, you end up making mistakes so the feedback is a paid course any point of time you need one-to-one -one feedback you can whatsapp us enroll with us enroll with us for the course we will guide you the fourth one singular and plural nouns ensure that nouns and their corresponding modifiers pay more attention are in agreement the word many always goes with plural many people not many person many students not many student so this uh, people actually tend to forget because they are not very conscious correct so each and every each and every is always one many is always more people say each and every person are each and every person is so that's what so the idea is very simple so many student are is wrong many students has to come so like this a number of mistakes people will have problems with when you pay more attention to it when you understand okay these are the things oh i need to focus more then you start unveiling the mistakes fix them then they give exam scores will definitely be good so the feedback is definitely required apart from that the knowledge that i'm sharing you here also makes a huge difference so if you're if at all you're making mistakes here by not paying attention to it it's time you pay more attention to them all right so each student's r is wrong each student is each will never go with the word plural each is one everyone so it's singular so like this the many things are there it's english english grammar is vast all right the fifth and final is parallelism what exactly i mean by parallelism so let's read what i've written here maintain parallel structure when listing items using coordinate conjunctions or constructing comparisons so for example parallelism is this this you cannot put it something like that hope you're getting it hope you're getting it hope you're getting it so when you are dividing them divide like this don't divide like this let it uh, be parallel she likes to swim so likes is a present tense reading books the why are you using ing because i like ing <laughs> then uh, uh, she would or she was liking to swim reading books so that's what the idea is very simple here likes you read here reading here read right wrote here you wrote parallelism is completely gone should be corrected to she likes to swim likes to read books and likes to hike so whatever the first one you choose to swim to read to hike maintain the same otherwise grammar completely gone case small small things when you start fixing them you see a magic number when you simply um, watch or get into the wrong things using 10 vocabulary words and get me eight you keep trying keep trying your probably hair turn gray or white scores will never change all right i really hope this video made sense if you are making this five mistakes it's time you avoid them all right guys so with this we will park it here this is nakul signing off from skills i'll keep watching our channel and if you like this content do leave an appreciation with a thumbs up after all we are humans, I'm a human, a lot of effort, a lot of people here holding lights, a lot of effort has been put to make content like this on every alternate day. So do leave your appreciation, um, let us know how you felt about the video and do click on the subscribe button if not yet so that you don't miss out on the future informative content and the notifications. Alright guys, I will be back, Nakul will be back very soon, till then take care, bye bye.